Hey, this is Mike with BrandTheBoss.com, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my MailerLite review. Now, I want to touch on this because if you look through the different reviews that are on YouTube, the majority of them, if not all of them, are out of date. So, there have been quite a few changes to MailerLite, and I felt it was needed to go ahead and show what currently reflects uh, MailerLite right now. So, how I'm going to go through this is we're going to just do a walkthrough of mailer light and then i'm going to go over my pros and cons at the end so be sure to stick to the end of this video now if this is your first time on the channel here at brand the boss we talk everything make money online that's affiliate marketing network marketing digital marketing and that also includes the tools that we as online marketers our business owners use like mailer light so at any point you happen to like this content please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well if you um, want to see more of these things as well so let's go ahead and just jump on into this all right so here at the dashboard of MailerLite well not the dashboard but the home page this is what you'll see when you go to MailerLite.com now I invite you to actually look at all of this stuff but right here is what's most important is this pricing so we're going to go over what you'll get as a free member of MailerLite. So as you can see here, you get up to a thousand subscribers. Uh, you get it free. Uh, uh, send up to 12,000 emails per month and you get the limited features as well. So once you actually go into signing up with um, MailerLite, you of course you'll hit the sign up button. It takes, you're gonna have to fill out some information and it takes about 12 hours for them to approve you if they do approve you. Um, now, what I've seen on a case by case uh, basis, uh, sometimes once they do approve you, they might not always approve you for the full 1000 subscribers. They might only approve you for up to 500. And that really all depends upon how you answer the questions and uh what it is that what business it is that you have that you're going to be using for a uh, mail of light because they're asking that they want to know about you and your business so sometimes that dictates dictates how how um you know how many subscribers they'll allow you to have on a monthly basis so but once you've actually signed up and you've logged in you're going to come to this dashboard area now here at this dashboard you're gonna it's going to showcase your unique subscribers it's going to show your plan you're gonna see your subscriber growth all your campaign stats um, your different automations uh, as far as how many emails were sent out and your forms as well now this right here you see I have 125 unique um, uh, subscribers this is not my um, my go-to um, autoresponder it's not my primary one i i use this one just to shoot out a little email blasts here and there i use a different autoresponder as my primary for my business so that's part that's why i only have 125 um subscribers right here so once you've actually um left this dashboard you can go to the campaign section and here at the campaigns i don't have any right now but you can you can just you can basically create a campaign which is an email blast so once you've come up to uh, your your campaign all you'll do is fill out the subject of your email uh, you can put in your name or your business name and you put in the email and then you choose the language that you um, want to use and then you click on here to create your actual content for your email now you have different choices when it comes to campaigns. You can do a regular campaign, you can do an A-B split campaign, um, which all it does is a test. You can test out two different subject lines to see which one gets the best open rate. Uh, they have the auto resend, which is a uh, upgrade. So this is a paid feature, but all it's going to do is it'll automatically resend emails or campaigns out to contacts that don't open it up the first time. And then you can do your RSS campaign. So what this is, is you, if you have a blog, you just take the RSS um, feed URL of your uh, actual website and you plug it in here 
and what this will do is whenever your your blog generates new content it'll just send an email out to your account your uh your list letting them know you know of the content that just got published on your blog so it's a pretty cool thing so here at the uh, subscribers section is uh you'll see a whole list of all your subscribers and it talks about your segments your groups uh your different fields the stats for your subscribers basically if they're opening your emails or if they're clicking anything in your emails and then you have the clean up inactive uh, area where you can actually clean up your list based upon uh, people who are not opening your emails or if they've been on your list for a few months and they just haven't opened up your emails you can clean them up automatically with just one click it'll automatically uh, filter through your list and pull up a, a certain number of contacts in there and you can just go ahead and delete them off your list you want to have a you, you that's something that you want to do on a regular basis is clean up your list because it can actually hurt your open rates or you know if if you have uh, too many people on your list that aren't opening your emails then what's going to happen is your emails are going to start going uh, to the junk mail so that's something that you want to do so here at this forum section they have different they have different forms here you can do pop-ups you can do uh, landing page forms now their landing page forms are, are their landing pages are actually pretty cool um it, it's definitely not as robust as a as a software that is dedicated to making landing pages like click funnels but you know if you just need one or two to make every so often then this will do the trick and you can do embedded forms these are very good to put on uh, the sidebar of your blogs and then you have promotional uh, pop-ups so if you're running a promotion uh, on your website then you can just uh, create a pop-up of whatever it is that you're actually promoting and embed it onto your site and it'll it'll be there to pop up so we have this automate automation section and what this really is is where you're gonna create your actual workflows so um, I'm not going to create a workflow here. I'll actually direct you over to my blog post where I have shown a workflow and how it looks uh, of my actual MailerLite review. But all this really is, you'll create a workflow for your different lists. So this is where you'll have somebody that will enter your email list and then they'll go into a group and then it'll segment them onto what they do from here. So it'll. this is where you'll assign multiple emails to have to have uh, sent to your subscribers so let's jump over to my pros and cons for MailerLite so what I do like about MailerLite is they have a free plan uh, which is up to a thousand subscribers it's very easy to use their interface is very clean and it's sleek they support automations and workflows and they have very good uh, segmentation rules as well now, what I don't like too much about MailLite is that I think they're missing some pro features that you would get for free with some other autoresponders as well. Um, they have a very strict approval process. So depending upon what kind of business you're doing, if you're may, maybe an affiliate marketer, um, this might not be the thing for you. Um, and if you, and if, you, if you decide that you wanna do this as an affiliate marketer, uh, you definitely don't want to uh, put your affiliate links in the email so you might want to send them to a bridge page or uh, a YouTube video or your blog post um, because they will shut your account down so you want to play it safe um, another thing is you can't create emails without leaving the visual workflow editor so with other um, autoresponders you're able to with some of them you're able to create your emails uh, within the workflow section or the editor this you have to actually leave and go to a new page um, it's not that big of a deal but if you're accustomed to the ease of not having to leave the page to create your emails then this could be something that uh, bugs you and what also you can't use uh, form building templates in the free plan this is one of the big changes that has happened so if you look at any of the other YouTube videos um, you'll see that they used to let you use the templates uh, for their for their forms now they don't do that anymore that is a paid thing and you have to build your forms 
uh, pretty much from scratch. So those are the, those are the major pros and cons that uh, that I've come across. But in all reality, for the price of Mela Light, um, it has it has the majority of what you would need. So it is definitely a, a better alternative to something like Mailchimp or anything like that because it's just more robust. So it's, des it's definitely something I will take a look at. Now, if you do want to have a look at this blog post, it will be in the description and there will also be a link for you to sign up to Melalite as well, if that's something that you wanna do. So I thank you for watching this. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm Mike with Brandon Boss and I will see you in the next video. Take care.